All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, local versus, pardon me, global versus local scope in functions. So it is possible to have both local and global variables with the same name. When we do this, the local variable takes precedence over the global variable. I don't know why anybody would do that, but whatever. Uh, so in this example, const sum var equals hat, but inside the uh, function my fun, const sum var equals head. And so if we return sum var, it's going to give us head and not hat. But if we do, hmm, but if we do a console.log sum var, it'll give us hat, okay? So let's reiterate the uh, function my fun will return the string head because the local version of the variable is present. So we're going to add a local variable to my outfit function to override the value of outerwear with the string sweater. All right. So right here, we're going to say let uh, da, 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 outerwear, outer wear equal. And then we're going to have the uh, string of sweater. All right. So let's come down here. Let's do a couple of con dot, console dot logs. Let's do one for uh, actually let's come down here. Yeah, we don't need this one right here. Let's say console dot log. And right here we'll say uh, my outfit and then we'll do the uh, parentheses to do the um, what is it? The function. And then let's also do a console dot log out of where console dot log outer wear like that. And you see it says t-shirt. So outside of it, it's still t-shirt, but since this function uses outerwear and changes it to sweater or just makes it sweater, it's going to give us sweater just like that. So let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to understanding undefined value returned from a function and we'll see you next time.